Okay, so ang topic natin today is about energy and head in fluid mechanics. So we'll be discussing briefly about energy and head. Then after that, we will be solving some problems in our succeeding videos. So energy and head are the energy possessed by a flowing fluid consisting of kinetic energy and potential energy. And the potential energy may turn be subdivided into energy due to position or elevation above a given datum or an energy due to pressure in the fluid. So first, let us talk about kinetic energy. Okay, so we learned this already before in our physics class that kinetic energy is equal to one half of our mass times the squared of the velocity. And since we know that our mass times the acceleration due to gravity is equal to weight. So therefore, our kinetic energy can also be equal to one half times the weight over the acceleration due to gravity times the square of our velocity. So if we want to take the kinetic or the velocity head, we'll have to divide our kinetic energy with our total weight. So so therefore, our kinetic or velocity head is equal to the kinetic energy over weight, which is equal to V squared over 2G. Okay, so we have to take note of this equation. This is our kinetic head or the velocity head. Now, if our fluid is flowing in a circular pipe, so let's say we have a circular pipe. First, we have to remember that the flow rate of our fluid is equal to the velocity of the fluid multiplied to the area. Therefore, our velocity is equal to the volumetric flow rate over the area of our pipe. Okay, so substituting that to the equation we have here for kinetic or velocity head, we have V squared over 2G, which we can substitute our velocity as Q over A. So we have Q over A squared over 2G. Okay, or we could write this as Q squared over 2G A squared, right? And since this is a circular pipe, therefore, our cross-sectional area is equal to pi over 4 D squared, right? So let us substitute that dito sa ating equation. So therefore, our V squared over 2G is also equal to Q squared over 2g over pi over 4 d squared squared, okay? Then simplifying that further, our v squared over 2g can also be written as 8q squared over pi squared gd to the fourth. Okay, so this is our formula for the kinetic or velocity head if it is flowing in a circular pipe. Now, as we mentioned here before, our potential energy can be subdivided into energy due to position or elevation above a given datum or an energy due to pressure in a fluid. So, let us first discuss about the elevation energy as a potential energy. So the elevation energy is the energy possessed by a fluid by virtue of its position or elevation with respect to a datum plane. Our elevation energy is equal to our weight multiplied to the position of our fluid in reference to the datum plane which of course, since we know that 
weight is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. This can also be written as mg times z. Okay, so to get the elevation head, we have to divide the elevation energy with the weight. Therefore, our elevation head is equal to the elevation energy over our weight, which means this is equal to Z. Okay, so let us take note of this um, formula. Okay, so now let's talk about the pressure energy. So, if you consider a closed tank filled with a fluid which has a small opening at the top, without pressure at the top, the fluid practically will not flow. In our previous videos, we have learned that the equivalent head or pressure head, okay, and we wrote it before as H, is equal to the fluid pressure divided by the specific weight. Okay, we noted that as gamma before. So, our pressure energy is actually equal to the weight multiplied to our pressure head, which is the pressure, uh, the fluid pressure divided by the specific weight or the unit weight. So, to get the pressure head, we will be dividing the pressure energy with the total weight. So, we have pressure energy divided by the weight, which means this is equal to the fluid pressure divided by our unit weight or the specific weight, okay? So, we have to take note again of this equation or our formula here. Now, in order to get the total flow energy E, which is the total energy or head in a fluid flow, is the sum of kinetic and potential energies. So, we need to add our potential energies and our kinetic energy in order to get this total flow energy. Okay, so it means the total energy, I will wrote, write this as ET, is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energies. Okay, so we already wrote here our formulas for kinetic energy, which is V squared over 2G, for our elevation energy, which is Z, and for our pressure energy, which is equal to the fluid pressure over the unit weight or specific weight. So therefore, our total head or total energy is equal to V squared over 2G, our kinetic energy, plus the fluid pressure over our uh, specific uh, weight or unit weight, plus Z, which is the position of the fluid above or below the datum plane. Okay, so this is our formula for the total flow energy. Okay, so in our next videos, we will be solving some problems uh, using these formulas that we got here or these equations that we got here for energy and head.